Welcome back everyone. Happy New Year. I hope that everyone had a beautiful holiday season. I thought that to start off the new year, why not talk about my 10 best purchases of 2020. My first video of the year is a little delayed, but nevertheless, let's get started on our first best purchase of 2020, which is my beautiful Chanel 19 bag. This one is from the 20C collection, so from the Cruise collection. Therefore, I technically bought this in 2019, but it was really in late December. For that particular season, Cruise 2020, uh, it was made in shiny lambskin. And this is the size small for those who are always asking about what size I buy. I usually always tend to buy the smallest size available in any handbag. So this is a size small, also sometimes referred as a size medium. Um, but if you just look at the quilt, the side quilt are pretty much cut off uh, around the middle. Year 2020 happened and there was the pandemic, lots of lockdowns and pretty much a lot of working from home and staying home and not really going out at all. And even then, I felt like every time I were to go out and I wanted to reach for a handbag, especially in my Chanel collection. Um, for those of you who follow, follow my channel know that I love Chanel, it's my favorite brand. Um, this is one of the bags that I want to reach for. I think it's in a really great in-between size. It's small enough to not be too overwhelming, but it's also big enough to really carry anything that I possibly need. More often than not, it does actually come in the shiny goat skin instead, but I personally love the lamb skin. I really have zero complaint about this bag and it stayed super shiny and everything. Um, like I said, keep in mind that last year there was the pandemic. A lot of the things that I'm going to show in this video, I consider them great purchase or best purchases either because I just always think about reaching for them and I love the item very much. For this one, it's kind of a mix of I love it, I used it enough, and I always think about reaching for it. I also often get asked whether this is considered a great first time Chanel handbag. I personally think so. Obviously, nothing will ever compete with the classics, especially with all the price increases that keeps coming up. We've just had one with um, LV and there's a rumor about a Chanel one. I don't know. So I'm just glad that I got it when I did. Absolutely still recommend it, but it's a hit or a miss in terms of style. Whether you love it or not, you really have to try it on and see it for yourself. Um, yeah, every single season is slightly different, even if it's the same black bag, but you know, the texture of the leather is different, the shininess, the crumpliness, everything, you know, the puffiness, uh, every single one bag is slightly different. So you really have to find the one that you love. Uh, but in general, I just find that this style is super versatile. Another best luxury purchase of 2020. I have to hand it to this bag from Louis Vuitton, the multi pochette accessoire. I don't know, was there a price increase on this? This bag was just around $2,000 when it came out. Um, that's before tax, of course. But now the retail is $27.30 before tax. That is insane. How much did it go up by? Wow, that is a lot. How much did I buy it for? I don't remember now. Uh, for an LV canvas bag to be this kind of pricing. And I did notice also that their regular pochette accessoire, so not not the bag, but the, um, the SLG version of this, like the large pouch, is now over a thousand dollars. It's a thousand ninety, I think, plus tax, which is, I mean, insane, <laughs> insane. Uh, in saying that, I am glad that I got mine when I did, especially, you know, I think when I got it, it was already two or three price increases after. So, you know, it always hurts, but I have to say that this is one of the bags where I reached for the most last year. Again, did not really go out a lot and, you know, it didn't really get tons of wear and tear. I'm not saying that this is the absolute, like, must-have unique LV bag that you have to get. I'm just saying that I'm glad I got mine because I did make a lot of use out of it. I'm just hoping that once we can travel again that I will really truly get to see how functional it is for traveling because that's how I envisioned it to be a great bag for traveling because of its versatility. 
uh, but it's not for everyone. And especially if you already have a lot of different pouches in your collection in terms of SLG, maybe you don't need this. It is a style in itself. It is very trendy and it is really cool when you wear it, but maybe you don't necessarily need it. Uh, unless you just want to go for the look, then sure. Um, but in my collection, you guys know I don't buy a lot of SLGs and I don't have the bigger pouch and even my mini pochette is still smaller than this. So I kind of justified it that way and it did end up being quite useful for me. I'm going to switch it up and talk about something else other than bags. I feel like one or two of my best luxury purchases last year is definitely some ready to wear and specifically i'm talking about these two beautiful cardigans from balmain so i bought them uh the same cardigan in both black and in white those of you who got it i'm glad that you did it is a classic style so it's supposedly always available uh, it is a bit pricey so if you can find a coupon code to even save a little bit do it uh, but I feel like of all the ready to wear that I got over the years uh, this counting dresses because I know I don't really get to wear my dresses all the time because you can really only wear them in the summer and we didn't really have much of a summer last year did we because we didn't go out so this counting my dresses when I look at just you know all my jackets and all my um, you know knits and everything I really did feel that these two in particular so these two particular cardigans from Balmain were were the ones that I wore the most and despite not being able to kind of dress up and go out a lot um, like at all even <laughs> next last year I just felt like I kept on reaching for these whether it's to you know just to wear to film in front of a, in front of the camera or to want to reach for them because I keep thinking about them because you like something so much you keep thinking about it you keep thinking about when to incorporate it that's when you know that it's a great purchase so like I said it's just a very classic looking uh, cardigan it's still very simple to be able to mix and match with other um, other things in your wardrobe it's very easily um, it's very easily styled with a lot of different things, which is why I bought it in both colors. These come with the classic silver button and it's just a, a viscose material, a stretchy material. They are a little bit on the skinnier side since they are more stretchy. But if you like your things to be a bit more fitted and you just like the look of less fabric then just keep your regular size i would say um, i took mine in a size 36 but i can also take a 34 i'm pretty sure no problem because they are very very stretchy it's just that the shoulders won't pop out as much which i feel like with the balmain look it's always about the shoulders right as long as everything else fits so yeah this is the white one i love both colors um honestly I wouldn't have been able to just get one color myself but if you were to get one color i say go for the black but the white is so versatile like sometimes you just don't want to always wear black right i know a lot of you have loved it when you got it so uh, i still highly recommend it it's one of those things where i felt like even though they were really expensive they were worth every single penny and speaking of ready to wear another piece of ready to wear that i want to shout out to is what i'm already wearing um it's a self-portrait cardigan like i said it's a strong year of cardigan last year so this cardigan is a seasonal cardigan is from their believe fall winter collection 2020 and it's just a beautiful knit wool cardigan and it's super warm it's a little cropped um it's just the color and the material is super comfortable i know that it was sold out when i talked about it when i featured it but i think they have since restocked so definitely check out the links below if you want to get your hands on it i did get mine in a size small uh, they are true to size I would say but there is more of a puffier shoulder so I think that was you know kind of the trend last year and still going forward I think in the spring summer the the puffy shoulder or the more stronger shoulder look is still uh, very much in trend uh, but yeah this is just a beautiful knit it's so comfortable it's a it's it's weighty but not super weighty and uh, it's breathable the color is beautiful the buttons are really really pretty so 
one of my best purchases for sure and with things like these that are seasonal and really really hot you kind of always have to get them early on which is why I was able to get my hands on it because the moment I saw it on the runway I just liked it immediately uh, I think the runway was actually the dress version but I, I feel like a cardigan is always a good idea two of my very best luxury purchases of 2020 has to go to some of my favorite costume jewelry so um, Chanel being my favorite brand of costume jewelry but in particular I think these two pairs of earrings were pretty much hands down my best purchases last year so these ones are the very iconic Chanel studs these came out in the 20 is it 20p collection or is it 20s collection it's the spring summer uh this one i think this one was the 20p a lot of people in this community talk about never wanting to buy costume jewelry ever again because they're not worth it they're too pricey they're not even real fine metal i don't disagree with any of those things but there is just something about a statement pair of Chanel earrings that just makes your heart sing and that it doesn't even matter if it's real gold or not because the style is just so extraordinary. If you love a good statement jewelry, there's just nothing that I find more appealing and more uh, satisfying than a uh, Chanel costume jewelry. That, that's how I look at it. These studs, they just I mean, they're stunning, they're a statement, but they're so small that it does not even matter what you wear. It, it goes with everything. Uh, so yeah, these are super, they were super sought after. They were definitely a great buy. But if you're like me and you love a real good kaboom like statement piece, I feel like these were one of those from last year that was extraordinary. It was very, very difficult to get. We did not even receive them in Canada. I had to get mine from the United States. Another accessory that was one of my best purchases of 2020 has to go to um, this pair of shoes. These are the Common Projects white sneakers. Mine has a silver little detailing on the back, but I find that with Common Projects, what I like about them is that they are I guess they make your feet look longer and not as you know bulky as some sneakers do. I personally haven't found another pair of white sneakers that are you know that are dressy, you know what I mean? So I mean maybe you guys can give me some suggestions down below but I personally haven't found another pair that was comfortable to me, that was easy to get in and out of and uh, that was also really really dressy looking and beautiful and good quality so um, I personally love the common projects I know that they're known to be a bit longer so in terms of sizing I take my true to size because I have a longer big toe which is actually perfect for me that the fact that these are a bit longer they are a little bit more pointier uh, some people say size down. I don't absolutely size down. I just take my true to size and it works out perfectly for me. Okay, another piece of ready to wear that I would consider to be one of my best purchases, even though I have never worn it yet, um, is this Balma skirt. It is a really, really stunning, classic looking Balma denim skirt in the light wash. It's so, so super flattering when I wear this. And I know for a fact that I will get tons of wear um, out of this when I can wear it because we're in the middle of winter. But it is one of my best purchases because I absolutely have been looking for a great, high quality, really flattering denim skirt for a long, long time. I don't know if you feel the same way as me, but I find that a lot of the just denim in general is very tricky because denim depending on the structure and your own body type even um, the way it fastens in the front and the buttons and everything sometimes that area can get a bit bulky and bulge out and it just makes it very unflattering i know it's a small detail but that's that's what i look for when i style myself and when i you know look for clothes you always want to grab things and buy things from you know brands and shapes that flatter you so i always had an issue with other skirts that i buy like they always just bulge out a bit too much in the area here and this does not do that this one makes you look skinny it makes you look flat it makes you uh your curves in the right places and 
I mean, probably not for everyone, but just for my own body shape, I feel like it works out super. And so I've been just so happy to be able to grab this on the sale in uh, during Black Friday um, time. So yeah, one of my best purchases, never wore it, but I know for a fact I'll get tons of wear out of this. And in fact, this one actually pairs really, really well with the cardigans that I showed you earlier. A foam clutch from Chanel. This one was from the 20B collection, if I remember correctly. So the fall winter of last year. I have not really used it a whole lot, obviously, because I got it later in the year also. Uh, and there was like, you know, not a lot of places to go. My reasoning for getting something like this is very specific. Sometimes when you just really don't need much, but you just want to have at least your very bare essential, like having your phone around with you, but you're not constantly reaching in to get it. This is one of those pieces that I feel like is a must in, in one's collection if you have a lot of those occasions. I'm just projecting a lot of those opportunities in the future where, you know, just going over to a friend's house, family's house, um, you're not really inside perhaps, you may be like hanging out or, you know, maybe it's a party. Uh, you just want to have your things around with you, but you don't want to carry a clutch, for example. Something like this is easygoing, it's crossbody. Uh, you just carry three things inside and you're pretty much good to go. So I highly recommend this piece because it's still a great price point, especially for Chanel. Leather line, it's beautifully made. Uh, it's super easy going. It actually fits a lot more than you think. But you guys know how these things go. You know, sometimes uh, we feel like the quality, general quality is on the decline, but some pieces are still made really well. So <laughs> take advantage while you can. Not as your first Chanel bag. I wouldn't look at it like that. It will never really substitute a first Chanel bag need, uh, but it's a great sort of extra in your collection for those specific occasions that actually happen a lot more often in my life than um, than I thought. My last uh, best purchase of the year, um, I'm gonna hand it to the bucket bag. So yes, again, technically this was purchased in late 2019. This is one of those bags where I just loved reaching for. It's easily uh, dressed down. It's super casual. It's a great everyday size. It's an easy grab and go and throw anything you want in it type of thing. Um, for me, it's a great in-between size. It's actually one of my larger Chanel bag that fits more. Um, and it was such a great price point. So I know that this is, you know, this was from 19B, so I don't know if you can still get it, but my point is to, you know, sometimes when you see a great seasonal piece that just, you know, not only looks classic, but the design is really cute. Um, it's decently made. I mean, this is a seasonal caviar, so it's a little thinner than, than some other caviar, but it's one of those very functional design and very classic design as well because uh, the shape of a bucket bag is always classic so I consider this to be one of my best purchases last year even though technically I did buy it late 2019 but it just it's just one again one of those things where you just always think about it you always think about when you can reach for it again or even sometimes when I just don't even know what to reach for uh, this is just an easy grab and go style. It goes with everything. I'm sure some of you will be asking about my nail color or maybe have noticed my uh, gel nails. I used to not really do my nails before because I don't really like regular nail polish because they chip so easily. I'm sure a lot of you will agree with me or will have the same experience. You spend a lot of time doing your beautiful regular nail polish, but they chip so easily because you work with your hands a lot. I personally do a lot of cooking and just, you know, doing things with my hands. Ever since I discovered Madame Glam, uh, which is uh, a nail polish company, uh, of course, they sent me these <laughs> to review a complimentary, but 
I am just a really really big fan of their product because they're nine free they're cruelty free nine free and vegan which is amazing I love that it's nine free because it's basically free of the nine most known toxic chemicals out there so anyway these are my nails that I apply in a milky white shade this is part of their new collection if you look more closely this shade is really really gorgeous and you can even see a bit of the very soft shimmer um, it's so pretty and it's more on the sheerer side so I definitely needed to coat my nails two or three times um, but it's a beautiful beautiful line I got the so I'm wearing the color white lace they also sent me milky dream which is their lavender uh, milky color bubblegum sky which is their milky light blue color all of these have a, sh a slight shimmer to it and then there's also cream silk which is kind of like a pinkish um, peachy milky shade for those of you who wonder how to remove your gel polish there are ways that you can google to you know diy but the best way is probably just to get their gel uh, polish remover because this will like make the task of removing your old gel nails so much faster and easier and uh, less frustrating. Let me know what are some of your best luxury purchases of 2020. Like, tell me your top three in the comments below. I think for me, uh, the Chanel 19 has truly been my my top purchases of the year. Um, and the Muzi Pochette as, well, as well, the LV bag. Um, even though it's, like I said, it's not like a super stunning, super innovative design or anything like that, but it was just super practical when I had it. I'm just glad when I got it and I'm just glad that I still have it because I mean the prices are insane now If you like this type of content and if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you back Happy New Year again, and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye